ionisation energy is the energy required to remove one mole of electrons from one mole of atoms in the gaseous state. The updated data booklet using page 12 will provide you with the ionisation energies of all of the elements that you need to know. Let's look at the trends across a period. If we draw the electron arrangement diagrams for lithium to neon, and we select the first ionisation energy for each of those elements from page 12 of the data booklet, we can see that we have a trend. Each of the atoms has two electron shells, so that can't be making the difference. If it's not the electron shells that are making the difference, it must be the protons inside the nucleus. As we go across a period, the number of protons increase. This means that the nucleus has more of a pull on the outer electrons and therefore the energy required to remove an electron would increase. This means that the first ionisation energy of the elements increase as you go across a period. Let's have a look at the trends going down a group. If we take group 1 and we draw the electron arrangement diagrams and again we select the first ionisation energy for each of the elements from lithium to potassium we can see a trend. What we can see from the images is that as we go down a group, the number of electron shells increase. This means that the nucleus has less of a pull on the outer electrons. So the energy required to remove this electron will be easier. And therefore, the ionisation energy would decrease. One of the skills you'll be asked to do is to write the ionisation energy equation. You can use the top of page 12 as a guide to help you. Let's take the lithium atom as an example. We can see it has the electron arrangement to 1. Now ionisation energy is when one mole of electrons is removed from one mole of atoms in the gaseous state. So we would write that as Li gas. We remove an electron which means that it will become Li positive. It will become an ion in the gas state and we would have the electron given off. What we can see is on the left hand side of the equation we've got a total of three electrons and on the right hand side of the equation from the pictures we can also see that we've got three electrons. Selecting the ionisation energy from the data booklet, the first ionisation energy has a value of 520 kilojoules per mole. If we repeat this process for the second ionisation energy of lithium, we would take the lithium ion which had been produced after removing the first electron. We want to remove a second electron, which would produce Li2+, and we need to remember to keep that in the gas state. Again, we can see on the left-hand side, now there's a total of two electrons, and the right-hand side from the pictures, we can see there's a total of two electrons. What we can see from the data booklet is that the, the second ionisation energy is 7298 kilojoules per mole, which is significantly higher than the first ionisation energy. There is a huge increase between the first and second ionisation energies for lithium, and this is because you're breaking into a full, stable outer electron shell. This past paper question is from the higher 2019 written to a part one. Explain why the first ionisation energy shows an increase going from lithium to neon. As we go across a period, the number of protons increase. This means that the nucleus has more of a pull on the outer electrons. Therefore, the energy required to remove this electron is going to be much greater, and hence why the ionisation energy increases. Part 2 to this past paper asks us to explain why the first ionisation energy of potassium is less than the first ionisation energy of lithium. So if we draw out the structures and we obtain the first ionisation energies from the data booklet on page 12, we can see that as we go down a group, the number of electron shells increase. This means that the nucleus has less of a pull on the outer electrons. This makes it easier to remove an electron and therefore the ionisation energy decreases. The higher 2019 written to be part one asks you to write the equation for the second ionisation energy of nitrogen. 
So I always make sure that I write both. The first ionisation energy, we've got nitrogen as an atom in the gas state, changing to N plus gas, plus an electron. And therefore, the second ionisation energy, we take our N plus ion in the gas state, arrow to N2 plus gas, plus an electron. Part two to this question asks us to explain fully the increase between the fifth and sixth ionisation energies of nitrogen. Now, if we look at the electron arrangement of nitrogen, nitrogen has five outer electrons. When you remove the sixth electron, you are breaking into a full stable shell. This sixth electron is held tighter to the nucleus, so the energy required to remove this electron is much greater. This past paper question is from the higher 2018 multiple choice 4. The table shows the first three ionisation energies of aluminium. Using this information, what is the enthalpy change in kilojoules per mole for the following reaction? So the first thing that we have to do is we have to write out the three ionisation energies for the first, second and third electron being removed from the aluminium atom. Remember, it has to be in the gas state. We then want to look at our target equation. That's the equation that they've given us in the question. And we want to identify the correct equation that we're going to use. So what we can see is on the right hand side of the target equation, they give us Al3+. If we look at the third ionisation energy, we have a Al3 plus in the gas state on the same side. We then want to look at the other ion given in our target equation, which is our Al plus gas, which is found in the second ionisation energy, and we'll pop a box around that. So in this example, we can eliminate the first ionisation energy because we're not looking at that. At this point, we want to do simultaneous equations. We can see that we have an Al2 plus gas found on both sides of the equation, so they cancel out. And that the two electrons can be found on the product side. As they're on the same side, we add them up, which gives us a total of our two electrons. What we'll do now is because we've combined the second and third ionisation energies, we then add the ionisation energies provided in the table. So 1817 plus 2745 gives us a total of 4562, which is multiple choice answer C.